today we are making this really nice stylized interactive animation it's really easy to make and with this you can make really cool stuff so let's add a cylinder and scale it down and stretch it like this now edit mode add some edge loops select the top one with the proportional add enabled we'll just scale it the top to make it pointy like grass and rotate it as well so it is more grassy and that looks really good and shade smooth now our grass is ready just like this one delete this now to distribute this on a plane add a plane and let's just divide the panel and switch to geometry node editor i just feel like eating this grass selecting the plane click on a new and we have a new geometry node make sure to pin it otherwise it will run away just like your ex-girlfriend so we'll use a node called distribute points on faces and connect it we also want our mesh plane to appear with it as well so join geometry like that and connect this here again let's move them aside let's change this to poison disk set it to 0.05 density minimum change the numbers to 200 and now why is this looking invisible that's weird oh that's because we are in the render view let's just go back again we can see the points but we don't want the points to be used so we will use a node called instance on points and connect it here and let's bring in our grass name it grass and bring it here and now connect the geometry to the instance now it's very big so to fix it just change it to relative and we have so many grass you ray now i feel like laying on this grass but this grass is not like a grass let's give it some texture so add a material node here set material we'll change this later let's just give it this material let's just apply it right after here yeah now it's better we have to just apply it after the joint geometry let's just delete this one directly connect to the instances so you want to know how i made this texture well that's easy let's go to the shader editor and selecting this now what we have done is use a emission color ramp and a gradient texture connect the emission to the surface directly set the strength to 1.5 using a color ramp set it to these three colors if you want the hex code i will put in the description and connect it with a gradient texture connect it to a coordinate texture and mapping and rotate it on y by 90 degree so it gives you this i'll just show you the textures this is the texture i have used let me just scale them in now you can just copy the same i have shown you getting back now we need them to be a different scale for each and every one of them so add a random value we connect this to the scale right here 0.3 if you want to increase the height of your grass you can just increase this value as well but let me just do that and now we have so many grass i would like to increase the number of grass i really want to touch this grass now so it comes our best part to animate it for that we will need a noise texture to drive that animation and connect the factor directly to the rotation so you get something like this and if you change it to 4d and increase the w value these will animate how cool is that now the thing we want is it's all going in a direction which we don't want because it's considering both x y and z at the same time and it's rotated in that direction so let's just add a vector math note connect here change it to subtract so it subtracts all the value 0.5 that should do let's duplicate this one and add a position connect the position to the vector and to animate it we'll use this subtract not that w value because it's kill and gives a better result hash frame divided by 24 i would say that's too fast let's just scale it down to one and now look at that i can even increase this density max 300 now before we go ahead to our special part please subscribe to my channel it's a big request all right no more crying now for this special part rotate instance and right there 
So let's add a sphere to our scene for now. Scale it down. This will interact with our grass. Let's also bring this inside here. Now our sphere is here. For this to work, we will need geometry proximity. We connect this distance to the rotation and let's connect geometry to the target. If we set to relative, we get some weird result. I mean, that's not what we are looking for. We have to fine tune it a bit more. For that, after the geometry proximity, we'll add a color ramp, set the values one which are the nearest to be affected, not the farther. So that should do for now. Now, if we want not this effect, we want them to just rotate outward of this pole. Let's just slip, switch it because we want only the one near this to be affected. So if you see, if I just move it, only they are going in this direction. We want them to all just go outside in every direction. For that, we'll need some math power. Let's just duplicate this subtract and add position. If we subtract the position of our grass with the position of our ball, it will give us the distance between them. We'll use this distance to align them with the vector. Connect this to a mix color and connect this into C1. Connect the vector to the vector and we'll use a value. I will tell you why later. Let's just set it and set this to Z. And we need our radiance and connect this to the B. For the vector, we will connect the color ramp here because we want this vector right here to drive the mix value. And connect this to the position. Let's change the degree to zero and we will set the value to minus and change this to points. Why is it not working? Oh my bad. Oh, we need to connect it to the vector. Now with that connected, we'll reduce the factor amount. Now let's just invert this. So it only affects the cross near the ball. Now connect the value to the vector and make sure the subtract is connected to this vector and increase this value and you will get the result. And now if you move it, you see grass is going outward from all the direction. If you move it anywhere on this, see how cool is that. Now one issue is the grass is coming through it. We can fix that really easily. We'll just need another node called scale instances. And I hope you have already guessed it correctly. To make that happen, we'll just need another node. Duplicate this color ramp, connect the distance to this vector and connect the color to the scale. And just fine tune this until we get the desired result. As you can see, the grass below it has scaled. Now if you move it, there is no issue of a grass going through our object. And that was a really easy technique. Now we are done and you can donate your money. If you would like, I can give you this project file but only to select few people if you give me your mail in the comments so guys have a nice day and peace out